Welcome back to my channel and FB page, uh, GTR Math Tutorial. So for today's video, uh, we will discuss another example of integration of rational fractions, case number 4. Okay, I, I, I already have one example, the number 7. So this is the second example for case number 4. Okay, so try to solve first before watching my solution. Okay, let's answer. Okay, so first step to do this is we distribute the exponent to the numerator and denominator. Okay, so distribute the exponent to the numerator and denominator. For denominator, we, we don't expand. So for the numerator, just expand this using the square of binomial. So square of binomial, square the first term. So we have x times x, so that is x squared plus twice the product. So the formula is uh, a plus b squared equals a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Okay? So 2ab, so we have 2 times x times 2, times 2, that is 4x, and then 2 times 2, so we have plus 4. For the denominator, just uh, copy this and put the exponent. So we have x squared plus 2x plus 2 squared dx. So it is in the form of case 4 because the quadratic trinomial is irreducible. The factors of positive 2 are is only 2 and 1. And then from 2 and 1, we cannot form a sum of positive 2. So the denominator is irreducible. Therefore, it is case 4. Okay, so apply the rule for case 4. So we have, so isolate this part. Do not include the integral and the dx. So we have x squared plus 4x plus 4. And then divide that by x squared plus 2x plus 2 is square. Okay, so we have two factors or two partial fractions. So we have a times the derivative of x squared plus 2x plus 2. Derivative of x squared is 2x. Derivative of 2x is positive 2. Derivative of 2 is 0. Okay, so plus b over, so the for the first partial fraction, we start with the exponent of 1. So x squared plus 2x plus 2. And then for, since the exponent of 2, we have two pairs of partial fractions. So let's just replace a and b with c and then d. So just copy 2x plus 2 and then plus d over the exponent is now square. Okay, x squared plus 2x plus 2 is square. And then next step is multiply both sides of the equation by the denominator, this term so that there will be no denominator. Okay, so x squared plus 2x plus 2 is squared. So we simply cancel this and this. So therefore, the left side will be x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals. Okay, so multiply this. Start with letter A. So we can cancel out one factor of x squared plus 2x plus 2. So we can cancel this. And then we multiply by 2x plus 2. Okay, so let's multiply. So we have x squared plus 2x plus 2 multiplied by 2x plus 2. Okay, so let's multiply manually 2x times x squared. That is equal to 2x cubed plus 2x times 2x. So that is 4x squared. 2x times 2, that is positive 4x. And then 2 times x squared. So that is equal to 2x squared. And then 2 times 2x, so that is 4x. And then 2 times 2, that is positive 4. So just add this. So therefore, we have a times 2x cubed. 4x squared plus 2x squared, that is positive 6x squared plus 4x plus 4x, so that is 8x. And then plus 4. Okay, so next part for the b part, so plus b. And then we can cancel 1. So therefore, just copy this. We have x squared plus 2x plus 2. Okay, next for the letter C, so we have C times, we both have same numerator and denominator, so just cancel it. So what will remain is 2x plus 2 and then plus for the D, so there is no coefficient of D. Okay, so now we can equate the coefficients. So the highest coefficient is x cubed. So therefore, we start with the coefficient of x cubed we have x squared, x, and x to the 0 or simply constant. 
Okay, so let's equate the coefficients. I will use a different color. Start with x cube. So the coefficient of x cube is 2a. Okay, 2 times a. So we have 2a. There is no x cube in the left side. So therefore, 2a equals 0. So that means the value of a equals 0. Okay, a is 0. Okay, so next, for the coefficients of x squared, so we have 6. 6 times a, so we have 6a. For the b part, so we have x squared, so that is plus b. And then for this, there is no x squared. And then for the left side, we have 1 equals 1. So this equation, number 2, but we have value of a. a is 0, so therefore b is equal to 1. Okay, so let's solve that later. So coefficient of x, so we have 8, 8ax. So we have 8a. And then we have we have 2b. So it's 8a plus 2b. And then another we have 2c. So plus 2c equals coefficient is 4. Okay, equals positive 4. And then for the last part, the constant. So the, for the constant, we have positive 4 times a. So that is 4a. For this part, we have positive 2 times b plus 2b. Then we have positive 2 times c, so plus 2c. And then last, we have d. So plus d is equal to positive 4. Okay? So let's solve for the values of b, c, and d. We already have value of a. So just substitute the value of a is 0. So when we substitute, so just cancel d. So therefore, b is equal to 1. Okay, so next, substitute in this uh, third equation, a is 0, so we just cancel this. The value of b is 1, so substitute substitute uh, 1 to this, or we can cancel that b, so this is 2 times 1, so that is 2. So solve this, 2 plus 2c equals 4, so subtract 2 to both sides. So subtract 2 to both sides, so therefore 2c equals 2. So therefore... 2c equals 2, divide both sides by 2, therefore c is equal to 1. Okay, so substitute again, a is 0, so cancel this, b is 1, so just cancel this b, that is equal to 1, c is equal to 1, so this is another c is equal to 1, so combine this 2 plus 2, we have 4 plus d equals 4. Subtract 4 to both sides, so therefore d is equal to 0. Okay, so now let's go back to this part. The value of A and D are zero. So therefore, there's no need to write this part and this part because it's already zero. Okay, so therefore, the integral now is equal to, just write this part, the B is equal to 1. So we have, just write the integral and the DX. So we have integral of DX over X squared plus 2X plus 2. And then plus, for the letter C, so the value of C is 1. So integral of, so just write the numerator, 2x plus 2, and then dx over our denominator, x squared plus 2x plus 2, and then square. Okay, so what? We have direct formula for this, for the two integral. So for this part, we will use the integral of du over u squared plus a squared. So we will complete the square of this x squared plus 2x. Okay, so the direct formula for that is 1 over a arctangent arctangent u over a plus c. And then for the next, for the next part, we know that 2x plus 2 is the derivative of the denominator. So we have exponent of 2, so therefore it is in the form u to the n du. So it the integral is equal to u to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. Okay, so first let us complete the square. So x squared plus 2x, what should be the last the last term to make it a perfect square trinomial? So the formula for that is b over 2 is square. So b is the coefficient of x. So we have 2 divided by 2. So 2 divided by 2, that is 1. And then if we square 1, we have 1. So the last term should be 1 to make it a perfect square trinomial. Since we have positive 2 here, we can break positive 2 into plus 1 and another plus 1. And then transform this in, in this form, integral of du over u, uh, u squared plus a squared. So we have x squared plus 2x plus 1. So that can be 
written in perfect square trinomial or square of binomial. So that can be written as dx over x plus 1 square. And then 1 can be written as 1 square since 1 square is equal to 1. So now it is in the form the integral of du over u squared plus a squared. Our u will be x plus 1. We know that the du of x plus 1 is, uh, or differential of x plus 1 is dx. So apply directly this formula. And then for this part, we will uh, put the numerator, the exponent, in the numerator to make it negative. So it is in the form u to the n du. Okay, so we have integral of x squared plus 2x plus 2 raised to negative 2 and then times 2x plus 2 dx. So this is our u, the n is negative 2 and du. So apply directly these two formulas. So therefore we have 1 over a, 1 over a, but the value of a is 1. So 1 over 1 and then arc tangent. Our u is x plus 1 over a is 1. Okay? And then for this, apply the u to the ndu. So plus the u is x squared plus 2x plus 2 raised to negative 2 plus 1. That is negative 1 over negative 1 plus c. So therefore, just simplify the final answer. No need to write this 1 over 1. So that is 1. No need to write. So we have arctangent, so just remove this one, so arctangent x plus 1, and then simplify this, plus and minus, so we have negative, and then put this in the denominator to make it positive, and then there's no need to write the parenthesis and the positive 1. So we have 1 over x squared plus 2x plus 2, plus the constant of integration c, and this will be the final answer. Okay, so that's it. I hope you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. If you have a math question, just comment your question in this channel or in my FB, FB group or just DM me in my messenger, RJ Enseñado. So again, thank you for watching. Bye-bye and God bless.